Now back to yesterday's storms. We have live team coverage from the northwest to southwest suburbs as the cleanup continues. We'll check in with Demetrius Avi for the latest weather in just a moment. Kelly Davis is in Elgin where two tornadoes were confirmed. But first, let's start with Dana Revick in southwest suburban countryside. Dana. Well, we are on Gulfview Drive near Maplewood, and residents in this area doing a lot of cleanup today. They tell us last night that this tornado came in the direction from the Flag Creek Golf Course, very close by, and then ripped a devastating path through their subdivision. High in the sky with chainsaw in hand, a tree removal crew takes down one of Mark Ritchie's trees damaged in Wednesday's tornado. I lost five over there and then the two here. Richie was in his home with his wife and son when the storm hit. Looked out the window, but I looked out north, and it came from right over those trees at the golf course. And uh, my ears popped. I told the wife to run. And we ran downstairs, and my son was upstairs where the tree went through the roof and right through in the bedroom. Another tree sliced his garage in half. A rotary phone somehow wound up under a section of the roof. The EF1 tornado traveled from Burr Ridge to Stickney, but this neighborhood off Willow Springs Road in Countryside took a beating. Where the, the big drape is, that's my dining area. That's where the ceiling came down. Marion Novak barely made it to the back of her living room before her roof was ripped off her home. I looked at my dining room window, everything was blown. I said, oh, please stop. And I thought, no, they say don't go by the window. So I backed up in the living room, and at that time, ceiling came down. Viewers sent these videos from inside an apartment building in Countryside. You could see debris swirling through the air and the intensity of the wind. Another woman who was stuck in her car shot this video, garbage cans flying down the street. A terrifying few minutes that left a path of devastation throughout the southwest suburbs. This interrupts everything um, and including you know, the roof over people's heads and, and that's why we're here today, making sure that everyone's going to be okay. The Red Cross visiting areas impacted as residents begin to pick up the pieces. Just overwhelmed. My stomach hurts. Lived here 30 years. It hurts. Now, fortunately, fortunately, that man's son who was in his bedroom was not hurt when that tree came through the roof, but it was about three feet away from him. And he tells us that all of this tree removal work, that money coming out of his own pocket, but he is hoping to get reimbursed through insurance. Live in Countryside, Dana Rebic, WGN News.